Hi. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. How are you? I'm great, Chris. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, okay, friends. I'm Kimberly Sanderson. If we haven't had the chance to meet, I am part of Keeping It Personal and the Refine community. I have the fun job of being able to connect with women all over the country. When I you hear me say I love my job, I literally <laughs> love my job because um, what we do at Refine is helping women grow personally and professionally and in their faith. And I know that God put me here for a reason, and which is part of this conversation today. And so if you haven't met my friend, Chris Langworthy yet, um, we have, I mean, I think since I started Refine, I don't even know if you were at the mm -hmm. first meeting I was at or not, but just our paths crossed in Minnesota so many times um, when I had the joy of being a member of Refine, then leading our Burnsville chapter. Um, and then with my role now with our um, national refined leader director, I don't even know what my title is. It's, it looks pretty on paper. Um, and then Chris thankfully has stepped up and is leading our Mankato, Minnesota chapter as well. Continued just been a member that stays active, stays engaged. And what we do at Refine is just connect and engage and be able to not only fill our cups, but we know that we're called to help other women fill their cups and be able to do the things that God's put in our path, which is what our conversation is today, right? Is just us knowing the path to take. Um, I'm wearing polka dots, which we just talked about, which is funny because <laughs> connecting the dots, right, is, is a big part of this. So Chris, help people understand who you are, what you do, but really what's on your heart right now for women. And I know we we will serve men too, but like there's so many women that we know that are in this state of overwhelm, this state of just trying to figure out how to do all the things. And, and you're, you have a gift with being able to help people again, connect the dots, but what is it that's just been on your heart that you're just saying, oh my gosh, there's other women that need to hear this right now. Well, so some of our backstory is, you know, it's, we had a daughter go through cancer back in 06. And it was funny because when Sarah was in treatment, you know, you get like sensory overload. They're like telling you, this is the next treatment protocol. This is the next thing we have to do. And we have to do this and we have to do this. And I remember one day just going, oh my gosh, like I can see all the dots, but I don't know how to connect them all the time. And it was some, it was a phrase that just really stuck with me. And it's been interesting because over the years I've struggled like, okay, God, what's my purpose? Why am I here? What are we called to do? What's my next steps? You know, whatnot. And it was like, all of a sudden that same expression came back to me, right? Like, oh, God, I can see all the pieces help me connect the dots. And so what's been really powerful for me is like, I got to live this with Sarah the night before Sarah's first surgery. I was like, okay, God, we got to show me where we're going. And I was kind of like a prayer, but it wasn't a prayer. It was just like the response of a mama in a, a trauma, right? In a crisis mm -hmm. mode. And it's been crazy because that night the image was, I saw her healthy and whole on a college campus. And it was like, okay, she was 12, it was there. But it was like walking through that process and then connecting the dots of how I could use that in life. And really what I've seen over the years is coming alongside people and helping them connect the dots of their life. What's going on? What's, and I got introduced to a framework called the Empowerment Dynamic, Three Vital Questions Framework. And it's been just a powerful tool for me to help people connect the dots, help them understand like, what are they going after? What do they want? What's your desired outcome? Are you focused on the problem? Or are you focused on a solution? Are you focused on everything that's happening to you? Or are you focused on what you can do with it and help you connect the dots of your life in an empowered way and not in a woe was me way, you yeah. know, because yeah. we all have stuff happen. But what I see happening right now is I see women overwhelmed. I see women entrepreneurs overwhelmed. I see women professionals in professional roles overwhelmed. We've been trying to navigate a whole new way of living post COVID in the midst of COVID, especially for women because we tend to naturally take on that caregiver. I have to be the administrator of my house role and we just get overwhelmed. And so what I've helped, what's really helped me is recognizing part of what I did in Sarah's treatment is I had to go, okay, what's the outcome for this week? And I had to dial it back and I could focus on all this stuff that was swirling around me or I could use a funnel and say, what do I want? What am I going after? Okay what are baby steps to get there? And it's one of the things I love about Terry and Refine is the whole thing of take your next step with purpose. Yes. You know, Terry was the one that introduced that line to my life years ago when you and I first met in Burnsville. And I just was like, oh yeah, I don't have to, I'm not called to do it all. Mm -mm. I can't do it all. But if I can define what I'm going after and then break it into bite-sized pieces, it, it helps us dial back the anxiety. It helps us dial back the overwhelm. 
and I'm trained as a nurse. You know, all that anxiety, all that overwhelm, that stress is toxic to your body. Yes. It's like, it's corroding your arteries. It's hard on you. So it's really, for me, it helps connect the dots in my life. Like, okay, God, you had, you had this plan, this thing that you've helped me walk in. You know, it says, I think in Isaiah that he says, you will hear a voice behind you say, this is the path, walk in it. And how many of us have had that? Like, okay, I'm walking, but I can't connect it. But the only connection is God. Right. But like, let's walk it out. Let's, let's do this step by step. So it's, I just smiled. I, those of you that are watching this, when we got on the zoom right before we started recording, I just said, of course, you're wearing polka dots, Kimberly. It, of course you are. And, you know, she, I hadn't even told her that this oh, is kind yeah. of where we were going to go today. And I was like, you know, and it's a God wing to me too, because as we're recording this, I am just getting home from Colorado and being out there for a leadership training, coaching retreat type thing. And it was a whole week of connecting the dots and just like, okay, what's the next step? So that was pretty powerful, pretty cool that you got on the call today with polka dots. So it just made me smile. So thank you for, see, and I think that's the thing is it doesn't have to be hard to follow God. Sometimes we just like, oh, okay, I'll do this. And then you get into the moment and you kind of like, that was a God moment. Kimberly didn't even realize she was putting on polka dots. You know, you didn't do it on purpose, but God knew. Right. And that he's prepared things for us ahead of time. He's got stuff ready. He's laying things out for us. And if we can choose to walk in that, you know, it's just powerful. It's, it's like, powerful for me to sit here and just hear it be spoken yeah. over me and to be part of something, because I think that's my journey. And I think for so many women, and especially when we just say like baby Christian here, right? Like, I, I don't even know if I'm baby anymore. I'm definitely elementary school Christian now, like. <laughs> Not smarter than a fifth grader, probably a third grader, fourth grader in my walk, but just having a relationship with God and knowing that he is here with me all the time. And well, the things that I don't understand, it's because it's not meant for me to understand right now. And that's okay. Well, and that, you know, the Bible says, lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Kimberly, I know you're a woman that leans on him. I know that you're acknowledging him in all your paths. I mean, I've watched you, I've grown with you the last few years and just watched you grow up in it. Right. And that, that the simplicity of, he calls us just to be children. I, you know, we all know the story of Jesus calling the children to sit on his lap. And I think there's one piece of that story that just kind of captivates me. It says, Jesus called to the children to sit on his lap. And Bible doesn't record it, but obviously the next step must have been, and they came and they did, and they did it. And that, that, and he said, this is what a child of God is like. And I'm thinking, what, what is this? Well, he called, they answered, keep it simple, sister, you know, like that's all it's about. And like that sometimes you're going to respond to things in your spirit. I should put the shirt on and you don't even realize that's Holy spirit inside of you, leading you and guiding you. And, but you've acknowledged him in all your paths. And so he's just doing it. He's like, okay, let's put on the shirt. And it just feels right to you because it's in alignment with his mandate, his calling on your life. Exactly. It's like, I love that. Oh, take the right. pressure off girlfriend. You don't have to do it all. You don't have to have the perfect outfit. You don't have to, you know what? Just lean into it and trust that he's going to make your path straight. Yes. Oh my gosh. That. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Well, and that's what we're doing. This whole series of what we're doing in someone you need to meet is knowing that there's someone right now that's watching this, that's saying, I think that's me. I think whatever they're talking about, I need to lean into that. I need to better understand what that is. So for someone who is watching this right now, how, how do they connect with you? Like, what are the, some of the different things that you do? Uh, you do lots of things. I know that. So we're not going to cover all of them. We don't have that much. We're not going to put that much time. We're not going to be here for 24 hours. It's not, a, it's not a seven part series, but let's say, you know, for a quick overview, like um, obviously, you know, being able to follow you and things like that on social media, but like what right now in this season that you're in is, is a way what we say is like, how can we bless your socks off in the next 30, 60 or 90 days? So how would a woman know, like, I need to connect with Chris because this is what I'm walking through or or I have something coming up and there's some women that need to hear about this in a group setting or, or what is that? Like, what would, how can we bless your socks off and in turn bless some other people in, in, in turn? So I love doing speaking, training, and coaching. Those are my three big, if you could funnel everything I do, put it into that. And that ultimately at the end of the day, if you wanted to put it under one umbrella, I'm all about empowering you. 
So one of the ways I empower is doing workshops, doing virtual or in-person workshops, um, speaking presentations, doing the coaching. Big piece that I love to train people on is the drama triangle and helping people move from drama into empowerment. And there's three vital questions that I train people on, on how to shift and be empowered it's funny, Kimberly, because I'm trained in profile assessments. I mm -hmm. love profile assessments and helping people better understand themselves and understand the people they're with. And I really, I will always, always, always go back to profile assessments because understanding why you're getting overwhelmed, understanding your personality style, what's going on. You know, are you wired in a certain way that you like safety and stability and you've never been able to clarify and identify that? And once we can call it out, you go, oh yeah, now that's where we step into the three vital questions and we say, okay, what's your desired outcome? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Who do you want to be? How do you want to show up? And so if you want to bless my socks off, get me in front of a group of women where I can train them on the three vital questions and we can talk about that piece and then we can help them unpack who they are better, help right. them under, unpack like how you show up. What's your God-given mandate? What's your lane that God's called you to swim in? And let's help you get in that because a lot of us have experience with chiropractors. We know that when we're back is in alignment, things, oh my gosh, my shoulders feel better. My body feels better. I don't have as much pain. It's the same thing in your spiritual walk and in your business walk. When you're in alignment with how you've been created and what you're called to, it just goes better. And so part of that is understanding, oh, number one, there is a thing that's in alignment with who I am. And then how do I do it? bless my socks off, give me an opportunity to get in front of your group or to talk to you one-on-one -on -one for your team or you individually for your business so that I can help you get in alignment with who you are and help you build a plan and a business plan that matches you. Cool. And what we'll have is all the ways that people can find you. That'll be below here yep. in the comments. And um, I think that's the space of it, right? Is that we all have we call her our swim lane or Terry, I'll talk you know, about keep your Terry says that swim lane. Right? Like she uses swim lane. But it is that space of it that God's created us. And I love even how you'd said that with our mandates, right? Yeah. Like so what that looks like. And um, be, and again, I know your profile, like when you know my profile, like I am like an easy book to read and you just know me long enough, but just there's a, my responsibility ethic, like goes high with that one. Like, okay, I have a mandate. God has equipped me to do this. So when it might not feel right with what the world is doing, but I'm, if I'm aligned with him and I'm doing his work, then that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. And I think that's how I can stand tall right now. That's how I can do the things sometimes that I'm like, wow, I don't, how am I equipped for this? Well, he equips me for that. Well, so. and just as you did this visual, you know, think about it. He's the head. The Bible is yeah. really clear that he's the head. And when you have the head in alignment with the rest of the body, oh my gosh, it just flows better. You know, can you imagine if your head was way out here, you've seen people <laughs> that have that and you just think, oh my gosh, that's gotta be so painful. Correct. And I'm sure it is, you know, right. but when you're in alignment with the King, it just goes, it, 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 it just, it goes and it flows and it, it's just, it's a good place. And I, I'm just captivated that we can live a life in alignment to how he created us. Like go figure, my husband's an engineer. He actually creates projects on purpose for a purpose and makes it easy for them to do what they do. My, one of my other coaches that I work with, Sean says, it's so easy. He's like, when, when you're walking in what you're called to do, it's so easy. And that's what Terry too. She's like constantly saying that. And that, you know, it's okay for you to get input from different people in your life, but ultimately you need to be hearing from God. Correct. Who's, Correct. who's speaking to you? How's that going down? Yes. Awesome. Well, we've talked about refine a couple of times, just for the people who are watching this, they're like, what is refine? These ladies keep talking about it. And you see maybe <laughs> this is your first someone you need to meet. You're just watching, or you've seen a couple of them, but we are a Christian business women's group. And like I said earlier, we're here to help women grow and scale their businesses, take that next step with purpose. Um, this time right now in life, wherever you are watching this is the best time to get started and continually growing your network. Networking is one part of what we do, but there's so much more that we're doing and coming alongside women and helping them grow their business with having a coach in your pocket, essentially having this connection and network of women all around the country. So um, we invite all women to come and check us out. You can have a business, not be in business. You can be looking for work. You can be in a nonprofit. You can be maybe just sitting there thinking that maybe I should start something like this, but come check us out. We have virtual, we have our in-person. That's how I started. That's when I started with exactly. Terry. I was brand new business. So let me yes. encourage anybody who's like, I have a business, but I don't have a business. I have an idea for a business. Refine's a good place, you know, to, I, that's, 
I am forever thankful for Terry and Refine and everything and all the all the people, you know, if you have ideas, it's a great place to get to know other people and flush out ideas. And, right. you know, Kimberly, yeah. you and I have talked through some business strategy stuff in the past and like, okay, what if we did this? What if we did that? That's what I love about Refine is there's such an abundance mindset. Oh, and God's economy, right? So that's the other yeah. thing. We serve coaches, we serve people in sales, we serve people in the same industry, but it's like so cool because there's enough. And I remember yeah. hearing that and I had to hear it a lot because I came from corporate sales. But hearing that we don't have to compete with each other, we can complete each other because in God's economy, there's enough for all of us. Exactly. And so um, friends, thank you for your time. Chris, thank you as always. Like, I just love what you're doing, knowing that you just can make an impact um, and that there's lots of ways that we can serve people. And so we'll have ways that you can get in touch with Chris. If there's a way that we can help bless your socks in any way and you're watching this, just let us know. Awesome. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you.